it's nice. I don't want to say it's nice to have them out of the lineup because obviously I still want them here, you know, but it's nice to bring new guys in. It's get a fresh face, fresh feel, stuff like that, and um, give guys a chance. And the thing about having them in the program for so long is they left a foundation that uh, the other guys have to live up to. If you're filling one of those weight classes, you got big shoes to fill, and I think that's a great thing. Um, and luckily we have guys who are up to that challenge and who are gunning to be national title winners and contenders, and even if – the common people haven't heard of them yet. By the end of the season, I know what they're about. Do you feel like you're you know, moving into that leadership role? Is it different than maybe in the years past? Luckily, I'm on a team where leadership doesn't come with age. Um, Spencer Lee's been the leader of this team since I was a freshman, you know, and it's the same thing. Marinelli was a leader as a freshman, so I don't, I don't feel like I have to be a leadership to these guys because they take control of their own destiny and they take control of themselves and. I don't have to worry about them. I don't have to worry about whether they're doing the right thing or not. Um, obviously, I am older, so I would say, yeah, I probably take on some sort of leadership role as like some guys come talk to me about certain different things, but um, I trust all of them to make their decisions and they're doing a pretty damn good job at it. From from March until now, what, what are some of the things that you had to work on, you want to work on to get better for the season? Uh, just dealing with demons, you know, just dealing with what happened. Uh, being that close and realizing that I still have that potential, still have that ability to be on top of the podium and um, technical things in the room, mental things outside of the room. It's just, it all brings, it all comes together at one and it might not come together today, what October, whatever, 29th or 28th, or whatever it is, but come March 19th, that's when it needs to be together. You feel like the old guy? Sometimes, sometimes, because I'll tell stories and people on the team don't know who I'm talking about. And I'm like, oh, God, like, I got to explain who that is now, you know. Um, the team's changed a lot since I've been here. But, no, I still feel like the young guy. I still feel like the learner, you know. I'm still the, I'm still learning. I'm not, I'm not a finished product by any means, and it's a good thing to be. Can you talk about, like, the tactical things that you take into the offseason to work on? Like, was there anything specific after last season that you kind of honed in on? Just wrestling where I'm best, realizing, I mean, I probably didn't realize where I was good at wrestling until after Big Tens. And that's like crazy to say, but like, talk to Tom and Terry, like my growth between Big Tens and Nationals was huge. And it wasn't because I did a whole lot different, you know? It wasn't because, oh, he got tougher. Or, oh, he wanted to win more. No, I've always wanted to win. It was just realizing, oh, I'm really good in this spot or I'm not really good in this spot. Like I gotta change that. And then just that little switch is what kind of made me like open my eyes and be like, wow, I, I, I I know how to wrestle now. Yeah. Is that like a, a last year specific thing or is that something you 